a young female tenant with a child, gracefully walk in the door. Attracted to attention of the landlord Lao Liu, he instantly felt refreshed and 20 years younger. Just a few minutes ago, the moving company is moving furniture into the apartment as the landlord, Lao Liu stood at the door and muttered, let these rough Buicks trade their houses. Hey, watch it. Unexpectedly, his eyes suddenly lit up. The female tenant Liao Guoxiang came forward to talk to Lao Liu. Lao Liu was stunned. I didn't expect such a fresh and refined woman to exist in the Every world. Every frown and smile reveals elegance. I didn't expect to be a young woman with a child. The appearance and body are maintained so well. Must be the wife of a rich family. Great, great. Please take care of me in the future. Needless to say, based on this appearance condition, of course the landlord, Lao Liu, needs to take care Liaga of Liaga Waxiang led the child into the apartment, the landlord's wife Hu Finglan, playing mahjong with some friends. Hello landlady. Moved here so soon. Oh, this little girl is so beautiful. Thank you, auntie. After a few pleasantries, Liaga Waxiang led the child to the second floor. And we are all attracted by Guoxiang's temperament. Mo Rong was even more fascinated. As the owner of the dance hall, I have seen countless beauties. Can't even compare to Liao Guoxiang's beauty and temperament. Old Liu Gang came back to the company not long after. Seeing this, the wife who was playing Mo Zhong on the first floor hurriedly asked, Husband, what's the matter with you? Why are you back? Lao Liu made an excuse to come back to pick up something. Without saying a few words, he hurried upstairs. It happened to meet the eyes of the new tenant Liao Guoxiang. The two sides smiled at each other awkwardly and politely. Guoxiang took the child into the house. Just a slight smile. Don't waste Lao Liu's old arms and old I legs. I made a special trip back from the company. At this time, another female tenant saw this scene in her eyes. Liao Guoxiang's man is a businessman named Jin. Because of the failure of the business, all the property so was slowed Liao down. So Liao brought her seven-year-old daughter and nanny move out early to rent a house. Considering that Guoxiang has just arrived, old Liu Fei wants to take his wife to give him special care. A room of Liao Guoxiang. Lao Liu's care is like the water of the Yellow River, flowing endlessly. Bathrooms are unisex. Just one of the water bars, to the left is hot water. To the right is. The way Hu Fenglin looked at her husband. Stay on this female tenant all the time. Heartfelt. So I dragged my husband away. I don't know that Lao Liu takes one step and In order returns. to see Guoxiang more. Precautions for staying. Talked about it in detail. Go to Liu Guoxiang's house. After coming back, wife Hu Fenglin is envious of other people's furniture. Not only half, but also foreign spirit. Complain about the old furniture. Let Lao Liu buy a new set of furniture another day. I also envy people who have an oven at home. Can make all kinds of desserts. In the dead of night. Liao Guoxiang secretly ran to the first floor to call her husband. Same upstairs tenant. Lawyer Chen and his wife came back from outside. Passing by Liao Guoxiang with extraordinary temperament. Lawyer Chen unconsciously took a second look. Until the stairs. Lawyer Chen couldn't help looking back and looking. The new female tenant. With the men upstairs. What kind of sparks will collide next? Old Yu went to the public bathroom to take a shower. I happened to meet the female tenant who just moved in yesterday. Come out and wash. Is the water okay? Although it's just a casual words of concern, his heart is full of. Tenant Liao Guoxiang's deep love. Lao Yu is the boss of a Sino Forum joint venture pharmaceutical he company. He looks unpretentious. He's a veritable rich man. I can support the people on this floor. You still want to raise a man of power, don't you? I knew you still wanted to marry Zhao, didn't you? What are you talking about? I'm actually not against you marrying the younger. 
I'm worried about you. You think. In case you marry a vixen who haunts you every day. Your body can take it. His family is very rich. Even married a magnate. Beautiful wife who Fenglun. In addition to playing mahjong with a group of people. Who Fenglun you usually. go out and buy all kinds of luxury goods. Lao Liu dislikes his wife for lack of connotation and self-cultivation. No drink and have fun all day long. It's not as good as in this bone. Lia Gawaxiang, an elegant female tenant. Early in the morning Lia Gawaxiang made coffee in the public kitchen on the first floor. I saw Lao Liu coming. Gawaxiang handed him a cup of coffee for him to taste. I usually feel that coffee is as bad as traditional Chinese After medicine. After took a sip at this time. Can't help but let out an exclamation. I really need to go to the company now. Lao Liu took a sip of the coffee made by Lia Guoxiang himself. He was so excited that he almost forgot which direction the door was in. Sorry, sorry. Lia Guoxiang. Every morning, I bring my daughter to the church to study. I pray every time. My husband can turn a loss in business and turn into prostitution. And when he left, live in the same building. Lawyer Chen, who shares the same belief, noticed that. I've home. Liao Guoxiong brought a plate of desserts made by himself to the landlord who is playing mahjong downstairs. Madam, wait for others to taste. Mrs. Jin, you are so virtuous and virtuous. I can see that the parents are very graceful and skilled. The desserts are so delicious. A group of people suddenly forgot to play mahjong, staring at Liao Guoxiang intently. Go up to the second floor. Lawyer Chen's wife, Wu Yu Mei. A sumptuous meal is already prepared at home. Husband leaves early and returning stays late. home is like punching a card. Look at these meals every day. Chen Haohui is already tired of eating. He turned around and went back to his room to rest. Liao Boxian next door. Left. The nanny brought a plate of oven baked treats to his home. Husband heard it. Picked one up and tasted it, tasted good. Then he took the whole plate back to the house and ate it. What would you may doesn't know? The meals I cook all day. In the heart of her husband Chen Haohui, far less fresh than this plate of desserts. So is their relationship? Early the next morning, Mrs. Chen came to thank Guoxiong for the dim sum she sent Chen yesterday. Chen Haohui happened to pass by the door on his way to work. Mrs. Chen hurriedly introduced herself to Liao Husband, Guoxiang. who is a barrister. Chen Haohui and Guoxiang had close contact for the first time at this After time. After the two smiled at each other, Chen Haohui left in a hurry. Lia Guoxiang and Mrs. Chen soon became sisters, two people shopping for clothes together. Lawyer Chen sent his friend, send your own French black tea to Lia Guoxiang. But my wife has no taste and can't drink tea. So I gave it to Guoxiang as a meeting gift. He has a good impression of this mature and steady man. Lia Guoxiang has been here since. Lao Liu fell in love with taking a bath. All right. I like to run to the bathroom door on the first floor, just to see Guoxiang one more time, then help others. Help me reverse the sign in the bathroom. Met Liao Guoxiang. Lao Liu seems to have found love again. I asked you to accompany me to do everything before. It's fine now, you don't even go to the theater with me. Is it because old couples have no interest in life? Blind old Liu and his wife are chatting at home at night. Suddenly I heard the commotion outside. Run out to have a look. It turned out to be the new tenant Liao Guoxiang. Passed out in the lobby on the first floor. Lawyer Chen is young and strong. Hurry up and carry him to the second floor. A group of women in a shared apartment. One by one, their faces turn pale from As a fright. doctor. Lao Liu took the pulse of Liao Guoxiang to see a doctor. Finally got a chance to get close to Liao Guoxiang. Lao Liu must take good care of it. She touched Liao Guoxiang's hand. Even in front of everyone, he spent half an hour listening to the microphone. Did not mention the cause. You have no news to tell you? Hu Finklan looked jealous, but helpless. All the women chatted and said. Just now Liao Guoxiang answered a phone call on the first floor. The phone call said. 
her husband died in Ainon. That's why Lia Guoxiong fainted in a hurry. This suddenly changed from a lady to a widow. Life is too hard. I heard all the people in that bed were dead. Lao Yu said, Guo Xiong needs a break to get everyone out. Wife Hu Fenglun sent everyone away. Only Lao Yu made an excuse that the patient needs to be taken Reluctant care of. Reluctant to leave. In the middle of the night, you dress up for others. Of course I want to be with you. I saw my wife insisted on watching me from the sidelines. Lao Yu had no choice but to resort to a he trick. He lightly pinched Liu Guoxiang's temple. Guoxiang woke up from the coma. Remembering the news of her husband's death in a shipwreck, he hides his face and weeps sadly. His wife asked Guoxiang to rest, urged her husband to go back first. Okay, 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 let's go. After everyone left, Lia Guoxiang crying while hugging nanny and young daughter. Early the next morning, Mrs. Chen came to visit with a plate of fruit and comfort Liao Guoxiang. As the saying goes, there is not much to do at the widow's door. It is inevitable to suffer from rumours, gossip and men's concern. Husband, you don't know. I heard them say he looks the worst. Stop talking nonsense. Lao Liu told his wife, Liao Guoxiang's orphans and widows are quite pitiful. Let the tape in Li go over and offer condolences When my wife first. heard that donkey hide gelatin was so expensive, did you How fall could in she love be with willing him? to give it away? Don't talk nonsense about the death of Liao Guoxiang's husband, left no property. The husband's younger brother ran to the door instead, removed all valuables from the house. He even cursed that Liao Guoxiang killed his brother. I tell you I am called King Zhu. The police will be here soon. A group of residents upstairs came to talk to each other. They all helped Liao Guoxiang speak. The uncle left angrily. Liao Guoxiang's life fell into a trough. He poured his coffee disheartened. I don't know how to continue my life in the future. As a landlord, Lao Yu is obliged to solve problems for his female tenant. He came to comfort Liao Guoxiang. Life is like this cup of coffee. Bitter when tasted. But after drinking it into the stomach, there will be a fragrance and sweetness. What a waste of two minutes listening to you. Lia Guoxiang nodded and said nothing. Turn around and go back to the room. Lao Liu looked at the back of Guoxiang leaving. He took Guoxiang's undrinked coffee and put it into his mouth. Gulp down. Yes, the coffee made by the little widow is delicious. Early the next morning, Guoxiang went out to the office to deal with her husband's funeral. Lao Liu happened to be going out to the company at this time. He took Guoxiang by the arm and insisted on picking him up along the way. Our neighbours, don't be shy. Where can I find such a considerate landlord? Award him a China Good Landlord Certificate of Honour. I guess everyone has no opinion. The landlord is very considerate, just the female tenant is going out. He enthusiastically tugged on the female tenant's arm. Let him get her in his luxury car for a ride. Our neighbours, don't be shy. After all, it's past the age of talking about love. Sitting alone with the young Liao Guoxiang for the first time, together, the shy old Liu didn't know what to do. When you are done, come to my company and I'll help you adjust. Being a doctor means more than caring about the lives of tenants. Pay more attention to the health of tenants. Are all illnesses. Don't be shy. At this time, Black Peony came out of the apartment with a swaying figure. Then got into a man's car. No one else is driving. It is Lawyer Chen who lives in this building. How long has it been? It is not difficult to see from their communication and actions. Lawyer Chen often takes Black Peony on the highway. A few days later, Liao Guoxiang received several indictments. The government was compensated a pension. But my brother-in-law and my in-laws have to swallow all the money. In order to maintain life for myself and my children in the future, he has to fight for her husband's pension. 
He invited his neighbor's missus, Chen, to a high-end restaurant Take for out dinner. a precious pearl necklace and give it to missus. Chen, this is my dowry when I got married. Missus, Chen likes it very much but refuses. Lia Guoxiang enthusiastically insisted on giving it to missus and personally put Chen. the pearl necklace on her. How about it? Very beautiful and suitable for you. Then thank you, sister. Then Lia Guoxiang knelt down in front of Mrs. Chen. Ask Mrs. Chen for help. Ask her husband Chen Haohui, who is a lawyer, to come Sue forth. yourself. Get back the pension. When her husband Chen Haohui came home from get off work, the wife explained the matter. Ask her husband to help Lia Guoxiang. You said why didn't you discuss it with me? You just promise. Chen Haohui said he was unwilling, but still agreed. After all, the other party is the warm-tempered Lia Guoxiang, Miss Sister Guoxiang, at this time walking aimlessly on the streets of Night Shanghai alone. Just passing by a nearby cafe, he walked in for a cup of coffee. Coffee, by the way, think about life. I didn't expect it to be a coincidence. Wherever you go, you can meet the landlord Lao Liu. Hear Liao Guoxiang's voice. Lao Liu's eyes brightened. Miss Liao. Very good. Why don't we sit together? I met you who I like here. Lao Liu's eyes are full of simple expectations for love. Looking at Liao Guoxiang in front of him, old Liu's little hands don't know how to put them. Not even drinking coffee. Almost poured into the nostrils. Oh, sorry. When lawyer Chen went to work in the morning, met in the kitchen to do with the oven. Lia Guoxiang of dessert, he looked up and down the woman in front of him really. This lawyer, take me to the office when you are free. Well, when Lia Guoxiang closes the door, when getting ready to pack up and go to the law firm, suddenly the piano laminated boards at home fell off. The next scene made him dumbfounded. Lia Guoxiang looked back. There are a lot of gold bars on the board. The sudden money really startled him. Lia Guoxiang hurriedly put the board back on. I didn't expect to end up dead. Southern windfall. I and my daughter will not have to worry about food, but the lawsuit and clothing will continue. in the future. Money that belongs to you must never be handed over to others. He dressed up. Just go to lawyer Chen's office. The lawyer took over Liao Guoxiang's husband's pension. Kim's case. Because Guoxiang is a natural beauty, a beautiful person they with a kind to be heart. neighbors in the same building. Chen Haohui does not charge his legal fees, willing to recover her husband's pension for him free of charge. Liao Guoxiang. I am very grateful to this handsome lawyer Chen. The French black tea you gave me last time. When you are free, come to my house and I will treat you to tea. Lawyer Chen's wife went shopping to buy perfume. I even brought a bottle for Guoxiang and gave it to him. Lia Guoxiang turned around, went to the house and picked up an exquisite perfume. Imported Gift from Mrs. France. Chen, this foreign thing is exquisite. The two beautiful people are intimate and decent in their speech and demeanor. But Liao Boxian, but from the bottom of his heart, he dislikes this old missus. What Chen. kind of broken brand perfume would you be ashamed to give away? Okay. Throw it away. This thing is called perfume. As soon as missus. Chen left, he asked the nanny to throw Child away the perfume. Child cough bad. Most likely lung fever. Lia Guoxiang called the landlord Lao Liu to help grab some medicine. The landlady's poker friend Mo Zhirong, get behind Lia Guoxiang. Mrs. Lia Mo Zhirong sees Lia Guoxiang's beauty and beauty also long coveted. Every time we meet, they will chase after Guoxiang's ass and say good things, Mrs. Lia. Someday I invite you to dinner. Ha Lao Liu is a very ritualistic man. 
delivering medicine to the neighbor's child. I also made an appointment in a high-end coffee shop. You are a good person. Unexpectedly, Lao Liu's little hand grabbed him. High-quality landlords will always have unexpected surprises. Take back the blood that the company just listed. You take it back and make it up yourself. It's hard to see Lao Liu's kindness. Guoxiang had no choice but to accept it. Lao Liu was worried that Guoxiang would be in danger while walking. Specially protect him with the thought in his eyes until it is safely escorted out of the cafe. Liao Guoxiang just returned home. Just pack up all your nice clothes. Until I picked out the most elegant and dignified Cheong Sam. After putting it on, go straight to the lobby on the first floor. Picked up the phone and called lawyer Chen. I don't know if you are free tonight. Guoxiang invites lawyer Chen to have dinner at night. Just misses. Chen came from behind. He came to invite Guoxiang to eat at home. But Guoxiang bluntly said that she has already dated someone else. Oh, it's okay, another day. I went up first. Mrs. Chen didn't know. Lia Guoxiang, whom I treat like a sister. It was her husband Chen Haohui who made the appointment. On the surface, lawyer Chen left early and returned late on the grounds really the busy busy hell. with work. He just finished dancing with Black Peony in the ballroom in the evening. Haven't had time to get on the highway. I went straight to the restaurant and made an appointment with Mrs. He told Lia Guoxiang about half of his husband's pension. You help me. I always wanted to thank you. Let's not talk about lawsuits today. The two drank a little wine, one after the other back to the apartment. As a neighbor who lives across the door, Chen Haohui watched Liao Guoxiang return to the room. I just went back to the house silently. Those who live on the second floor are inlaid with black peonies. Witnessed this scene at the other end of the corridor. The first thing you do when you get home is change your clothes and go downstairs to take a shower. Lao Liu has a husband again. What are you doing? I. What? I should. Liao Guoxiang took a basin to the public bath to take a bath. Landlord Lao Liu came back from outside, afraid of my sweetheart slipping and falling in the hallway. So he escorted Liao Guoxiang with the thoughts in his eyes, walk in whoops. Husband, what are you doing? I am here. Stomachache. What are you walking around in the middle of the night? Hey, back to sleep. His wife urged him to go back to the house to rest. Lao Liu, reluctantly, he moved upstairs step by step. Early the next morning, old Liu is going out to work. I saw Liao Guoxiang cooking breakfast on the first floor. I don't know what's wrong. Lao Liu's to caps. I dragged him in unconsciously. Liao Guoxiang Zhongzhuang served him a bowl of soup. Come and taste. Lao Liu unconsciously picked up the bowl with his two small hands, ready to drink brother-in-law. You promised to fix my body. Today. Aren't I coming back to tune you tonight? Oh, let's talk. Goodbye, brother-in-law, you are gone. Ha ha, slow down on the road. Rose is watching La Liu spend all day doting on the little widow. That's why I came here to mess with them on purpose, in the next few days. Lao Liu has never seen Liao Guoxiang. He feels depressed. Can't see my sweetheart. There always seems to be something missing in my heart. I'm not interested in anything. Suddenly saw Liao Guoxiang's daughter and nanny going out. After inquiring, I found out that Guoxiang was He's ill. very worried about Guoxiang's health. Where do you still want to go to the company? So he turned back. Mrs. Hu Finglan is still playing Mojong. With a few women on the first Husband, floor. Aren't you going to work? Why are you back? Coming back to fetch things is an excuse that Lao Liu always He uses. went upstairs and went straight to Leon Guoxiang's room. Guoxiang opened the door and saw Lao Liu. Welcome him into the house. 
Old Liu from his bag. Take out a high quality American ginseng. Let Gawaxiang take it and make up for it. Then I took Kunika's hand. I can't help but scold. You are actually too weak. Or we go to bed. Let me help you down. Hearing that Hu Finglan came to knock on the door, Old Liu was scared like an ant on a hot pan. He hastily hid in the ceremony room. It turned out that Hu Finglan had already had doubts. So I came here to check. While chatting about Guoxiang's body, Hu Finglan secretly glanced at the room, did not find anything unusual, so turned around and left. Lao Liu has ghosts in his heart. After Hu Finglan left for a while, this is how you dare to come out of the house. Why do you have to hide? No. I, I, I am afraid that he will misunderstand you. Lawyer Chen goes out every morning and returns home in the middle of the Mrs. night. Mrs. Chen went to Guoxiong's house to complain. He suspects that her husband has a new love outside. Lao Liu felt empty and panicked after dinner. So I got up and went out for a walk again. Why go? Upset stomach. I didn't expect to see my sweetheart Guo Xiongang this time. When I went out, I was bumped into by the white rose who drank Without too any much. explanation, he was dragged onto the high speed. The next morning old Liu was going out to go to the company. Coincidentally, Liao Guoxiang also went out and said that he was there going to a have restaurant his hair done. on Shogwang Road that does a very good job. Opened by my friend. Your wife takes care of me. Lal Yu recommended a hair salon opened by a friend to him. It doesn't matter if you don't do this hair. Changing her hairstyle directly made Liao Guoxiang radiant. Hu Finglan also went to curl her hair that day. He saw it already. Liao Guoxiang sitting here. Sister Guoxiang, what a coincidence that you are here too. Lao Yu is not off work yet. I couldn't wait to run back home. Want to come back to enjoy Liao Guoxiang's new hairstyle. I didn't expect my wife and Lia Gawaxiang to be together. I call them new curly hair today. Looks good. Oh, good looking. It's so nice. He looks straight at Gawaxiang. The sweetheart's new hairstyle makes him mesmerized. Next, Lao Liu will confess. Since Lia Gawaxiang made a new hairstyle, landlord Lao Liu is out of his mind. I always want to find a chance to see Guoxiang more. Lao Liu took out the tickets to the opera house. Ask Guoxiang to go see it together. I didn't expect it was a coincidence. Hu Finglan floated over from behind. I grabbed these two tickets. Smile at the little fox in front of you. However, then he stuffed the tickets into Liao Guoxiang's hands. Finished. I didn't expect my little thought to be discovered. Lao Liu hurried back to explain to his wife. Unexpectedly, Hu Fenglin picked up the guy and threw it over. What are you doing? You've got your eye on the little widow next door, haven't you? I look at him. It's you? Old Liu turned his head and left without arguing with him. Hu Fenglin's lungs are about to explode. He called the family's little nanny. I fang, keep an eye on my master from now on. Just find him talking to the little widow, you. Just come back and tell me. Liao Guoxiang, take out a pair of shiny earrings and give them to Mrs. Chen. See such beautiful jewellery. Mrs. Chen accepted it happily. Liao Guoxiang asked her to take the children to the park tomorrow. Mrs. Chen happened to have nothing else to do. So she readily agreed. He came to find his husband at night. Let my husband drive to accompany me to the park tomorrow. Think I'm free. But I've already told Guoxiang. Why don't you come with us? As soon as Chen Haohui heard that Guoxiang also went to the park. He's come now. In fact, the heart is already surging. You say you are. Why every time you promise someone else something? You don't even discuss it with me. Then my little brain had an idea. Find yourself a step down. I promised others. What can I do? Then go. Husband, you are so kind. The simple missus. Chen did not expect. 
I actually gave it to my husband and Liaga Woxiang with my own the hands. conditions. Spring is coming. It's the breeding season for animals. Liaga Woxiang put on a beautiful red dress. Got a funky soaring mat haircut. Fully demonstrate your career line. With a lively, unlovely daughter. Ready to go to the park. Seeing Lia Guoxiong coming out of the department, Chen Hoahui was stunned for a moment unconsciously. Lia Guoxiong walked past him lightly like the wind. Chen Hoahui, Doba, Guoxiang, and the grace of deep pasture. As a veteran driver who has been driving for many years, it was the first time lawyer Chen discovered. Driving is so exciting. Around noon. Lawyer Chen also thoughtfully booked a western restaurant. The couple shared lunch with Lia Guoxiang's mother and daughter. Mrs. Chen, who is not used to eating western food, can't use a clumsy. knife and fork. In desperation, the waiter brought a pair of chopsticks. It's a wealthy family. Lia Guoxiang, who was born, performed gracefully Let and Lawyer decently. Chen feel that he brought his wife out. Lou's face. The four returned to the apartment together after dinner. Lao Yu just came out to hang out after dinner. Seeing Guoxiang, he froze for a moment. My sweetheart is so beautifully dressed, I almost didn't recognize Lao her. Lao Yu's heart is pounding. Guoxiang's attire made him mesmerized. Let's look at lawyer Chen who lives across from Guoxiang. Younger and more handsome than myself, Lao Yu suddenly felt a sense of crisis. If you don't hurry up. I'm afraid that good cabbage will soon be given over by other pigs. This time he improved the method. Choose Yu Guoxiang to meet at the coffee shop. This time Lao Yu must take good care of the landlord. Lao Yu confessed his love to the beautiful female tenant whom he had he a crush on for a long time. Jade hand. Then I was so nervous that I couldn't speak for a long time. I really wanted to just stay with you quietly for an afternoon. Wonderful. Hearing the old man say that again. Guoxiang quickly retracted both hands. Lao Yu sees that this trick doesn't work well, so I took out the envelope directly and simply and rudely. A bag full of money. Guoxiang gladly accepted it. Lao Yu showed a proud smile. No man in the family lacks a source of income. He asked Guoxiang to use the money to subsidize the family. Grandma, did you make a mistake? I really don't know. Lao Yu was afraid of being rejected and didn't say anything more, just quietly looking at my sweetheart. Because he knows he can't eat hot tofu in a hurry, live under one roof. A long flow of water is a long-term solution. Mo Zhirong, the owner of the ballroom, came to give Liao Guoxiang a recommended job. Don't let Guoxiang go to his own ballroom to be the top girl. A day's salary is several oceans. Meet a rich boss. A day is the income of dozens or even hundreds of oceans. The widow's preoccupation. Lia Guoxiang noodles. He couldn't help but fantasize about these men's entanglement. Old Liu quietly appeared behind him again. Sense someone coming. Guoxiang her up and continue working. What happened? Seeing the beloved woman's tender hand burnt by the oven. Lao Liu. Who holds the honorary certificate of China's Hurry good up land and blow it up. Turning around, it was Afeng, the babysitter. Go get the medicine, go get the schooled medicine. Master doesn't have schooled medicine. Do you need other medicine? Hurry up, after my wife who Fenglan found out about this. Lao Liu was given a shabby meal. Why? I know now. Why do you always have to go to the first floor to take a shower? Why? Cat smells fish. Really hungry. Lao Liu didn't pay much attention to his wife Hu Fenglan. He found medicine for the burn. I also personally helped Guoxiang to apply it. I didn't expect the babysitter to come again. Don't be sneaky from now on. Scared me. Who is sneaky? It's not what I want to see. Somehow, every time I meet Guoxiang in the apartment, we'll be disturbed by people. 
This makes Lao Liu very angry. He simply asked Guoxiang to come to the coffee shop again. Take the opportunity to express love to him. I think. I really want to be nice to you. I'm speaking from the bottom of my heart. Just give me a little more time. Guoxiang bluntly said that he needs to think again. At this time he knew. My own flower. It can't be easily inserted here. Cow dung. What if there is more fertile dung soil? At this time, Mo Zhirong was passing by in a rickshaw. Exactly. I saw the old Liu and the little widow dating in the coffee shop. He kicked the accelerator and ran to tell Hu Finglan. Hu Finglan gritted her teeth in anger. In fact, during this period of time, Lao Liu was always Hu left Finglan out in the was cold. already feeling physically and mentally he and uncomfortable. and Mo Zhirong don't know how long ago. Has changed from a card friend to a car friend. Although Ma Zhirong is sissy. But after all the mule, the son is also a horse as long as he doesn't delay his A work. bottle of 2020 to red wine plus an empty room. Lawyer Chen also took action. He invited the Prime Minister out to meet. Why are you looking for me so urgently? Compared with the calmness of the landlord Lao Liu? Long-term strategy. Chen Haohui is young and energetic after all. When you come up, you have to take Guoxiang on the expressway. The result was rejected on the spot. Guo Xiong bluntly said that she is not a casual woman. Although he also likes lawyer Chen's young and promising. But you can't just go to the high speed in such a hasty way. As a woman from a traditional family. I really can't do such a frivolous act. Lawyer Chen suddenly realized that he was sloppy. Liao Guoxiong left angrily. Lawyer Chen, in order to wake himself up, picked up the red wine and drank another glass. Liao Guoxiong knew very well. Can't make it too easy for these men. Playing hard to get can satisfy the appetite of men. His purpose is fame and money. Not just for the moment. In order to make Lao Liu break his mind about Liao Guoxiang, Hu Fenglan thought of a wonderful method. The neighbor is a beautiful little widow. Sister Feng recently discovered a little widow is always with. My husband is flirting. So he had a plan. A new restaurant opened nearby. I heard the food is delicious. Oops, I just want to treat you to dinner. Walk around. Sister Feng warmly asks Liao Guoxiang out for dinner. Dragged him away without saying a word. Hu Fenglan draws big cakes while walking. That store. The food is always delicious. I will take you to taste. I found out when I got there, invited to dinner, and Lao Liu and his cousin Sim Yu Bai. It turned out that Hu Finglan wanted to make her husband give up on Liao Guoxiang. Single-handedly arranged to introduce a partner to Guoxiang. Lao Liu and Liao Guoxiang secretly send eyeballs. Only then did I understand Hu Finglan's intentions. And the blind date Sumu. White people as their name suggests. He is handsome, handsome and talented. Seeing my blind date so beautiful. He immediately fell in love with Guoxiang at first sight. Mr. Sokuragi Baisu. Been working for my husband's pharmaceutical company. Last year his husband passed away. He coaxed for a long time. And you too. I lost my husband at a young age. Me. It's because I always felt that the two of you were kind of in the same boat. So I want to introduce you guys. Old Liu has a black heart at this time. Watching Sim Yu by flat at Guoxiang. His heart is full of anger towards his wife Hu Fenglan. Then Lao Liu has another rival in love. Come here every now and then to send flowers to Guoxiang. Although Sim Yu Bai was the manager of Lao Liu's company. But where is the old Liu Yashu who is handsome and rich? So Liao Guoxiang had a cold face on Sim Yu Bai. Old Liu snatched the flower from Mu Bai's hand. Break it down. There's a whole bunch of things you don't do in a pharmacy. You run here. You are free. I still make this flower. Where are you going? Sumubai took the flowers and went to follow Guoxiang again. Really angry old Liu's head hurts. Liu Guoxiang is holding a pot of freshly made snacks while no one is around in the apartment. He knocked on the door of lawyer Chen's house. Give the snacks to lawyer Chen. 
Attorney Chen looked at it in a daze. He can't understand the little widow who rejected him yesterday. Why did you suddenly become active again today? Looking at the snacks sent by Guoxiang, lawyer Chen hurriedly followed the clues. Invite Liao Guoxiang to dance. He finally had a chance to get close to Guoxiang. Mo Zhirong. And lawyer Chen's old friend Black Peony just saw this scene. They were very surprised. This little widow often flirts with old Liu. Not unusual. But when did you still get tired of Mr. Chen? It's on. Black Peony suddenly realized. Dovu, attorney Chen has been running out of power on high speeds lately. So the problem is here. When approaching home, lawyer Chen stopped the car ahead of time. In order to avoid suspicion, Guoxiang decided to take no. Lawyer Eleven Chen high. got out of the car and grabbed him. Straightforwardly, he put his mouth together. But was stopped by Guoxiang. I like you. Do you know? You like me. Could it be? Do you just want a promise? Liao Guoxiang. I think lawyer Chen is just a novelty to me. Afraid of giving myself to him? There will be no good results in the future. Liao Guoxiang. Constantly giving Chen Haohui hope and disappointment. Instead, it whetted his appetite. Chen Haohui. I am more and more obsessed with this woman who repeatedly rejects Compared me. Compared with his wife Wu Yumei's superficial and vulgar. And the greedy and casual nature of the dancer Black Liao Peony. Guoxiang is more connotative and cultivated. He secretly decided to chase Liao Guoxiang. Lawyer Chen returns to his residence full of thoughts, and he will be fine first. Black Peony. At this time, he actually blocked his way in the corridor. How many days have you not come to see me? How many times I told you? We didn't know each other in the palace. Black Peony complains that Chen Haohui likes the new. Tangled up and with a little bit old. I tell you, prudence is not a real bitch. He is a liar. We'll be cheated to death by him. Chen Haohui ignored Black Peony. Because at this time you felt that Liao Guoxiang was really fragrant. Ever since Sima Bai met Liao Guoxiang, it has been love at first sight. He holds gifts and flowers. Unyieldingly ran to confess to Guoxiang. The young man fell in love with the widow at first sight. He took a flower to express his love to the woman. Miss Liao, I want to treat you to a movie. Liao Guoxiang doesn't like Simu Soka, so he just found an excuse to refuse. I thank you in advance, but I have a game of poker with friends tomorrow. Oh. No problem, no problem. Let's meet again. Goodbye, Miss Liao. I'll see you again someday. Liao Guoxiang is indeed busy, but it's not playing cards as he said. Instead, I went out to watch a movie with Lawyer Chen. Although he refused to get on the highway with Lawyer Chen, but he agreed to every invitation from Lawyer Chen. Love you every morning. They will practice peerless martial arts at the gate. In fact, he is a drunkard who doesn't care about drinking. Just for every. Chion encounter Liao Guoxiang who sent her children to school. In this way, Guoxiang became the target pursued by the three like men. Like Hu Fenglan, who had been neglected all day long, ran to work. Drunk. After drinking a glass of wine into the stomach. Playing drunk again here. Treating Mo Zhirong as old Liu Yitong scolded. I saw you again, you old woolen yarn. I'm afraid of you. I am not Liu Hanbing. It's Mo Zhirong. What's your business? Bai Megui brought back Hu Fenglan who was drunk. Saw my wife hanging out with a bunch of dancers. Lao Liu is very angry. Lawyer Chen tossed and turned at night, unable to sleep. At this time he and his wife Wu Yumei is already a different dream in the same he bed. He started thinking, would you like to be with this emotionless wife? Live on. Early the next morning, after Hu Fenglan sobered up, she quarreled with Lao Liu. Lao Yu angrily reprimanded his wife for going to Paramount. In the middle I'm still of the night, close to Rajirong. Spread the joke. What do you mean? Guilty conscience. You call a thief. I'm not coming back to think about you tonight. Do you dare to come back to live? I dare to refund the rent next door. Kick him out. 
you can do. Though Art after arguing just met at the door to talk their conversation. Liaga Waxiang who can hear clearly. The two came to the coffee shop together. Guoxiang pretended to be kind to comfort Lao Liu. Let him and Hu Fenglun live a good life. The more he behaves like this, the more he moves Lao Liu's Lia heart. Guoxiang is reasonable, gentle and dignified. Let Lao Liu be unreasonable to that. The wife who makes trouble feels helpless. After all, you are a well-mannered man. I can only suffer myself. I mean, what's wrong with you? Hu Fenglun, who was depressed after the quarrel, came to smoke opium. Only in this way can make him temporarily forget all the unpleasantness, if still unhappy. What else can't be solved at high speed? Sumubai came to pursue Liaga Waxiang again. Can I treat you to lunch? I've been waiting for you for a long time, hard to see. Liaga Guoxiang got into the car. As soon as he arrived at the restaurant, he was praised by Mubai. Women are still like you. Classic dignified. Virtuous and beautiful. See you that day. I think you're good. You are the one I am looking for. Miss Liu. What do you think? Facing the request of the raft, Guoxiang excused that she had made an oath. To keep filial piety for my husband for three years. Sun Mubai greatly admired Guoxiang, who values love and righteousness. A loving woman. I'm waiting for you. I've been waiting for you too. Lawyer Chen came to ask Guoxiang to hang out, but I found out that Su Mubai was also here to make an appointment. Looking at this cold With to Guoxiang, myself, hot woman gets into another man's car. Lawyer Chen felt that it was his own inadequacy. He didn't give Guoxiang enough sense of security. Liao Guoxiang at this time. Before I knew it, I had become the queen of the sea. He is easy. If there is more than enough, let three men circle around him at Lawyer the same Chen, time. With Liao Guoxiang on his mind, has lost power at high speed. On the other hand, Guoxiang rejected old Liu with a hug. Liao Guoxiang expressed his deep love for Lao Liu, but I will never be someone else's concubine in this life. Otherwise, there will be endless anger under people. But he claimed he didn't want to embarrass Lao Liu. Guoxiang will be your husband. Forever confidant. I think. Can we just be ourselves? When Lao Liu heard this, he was stunned. What is there to be a confidant for a lifetime? Meaning is not useful. Can talk or touch. He advised Guoxiang to go back and take a bath to calm down. Don't worry sooner or later you are mine. Today my wife is weird. Suddenly, Lao Liu had to take a bath. Hey, what newspaper do you read in broad daylight? Take a shower. What kind of bath do you take in broad daylight? Yeah. Though, as it happens, he just arrived at the door of the bathroom. Just happened to come across from the public bathroom. Lia Guoxiang, the little widow who It came turned out. out that he ran out of water halfway through the wash. There are a lot of people taking a shower today. Mrs. Chen also ran over with shower gel. Mrs. Chen didn't believe that the water was cut off. Don't go in. Old Liu ran back dejectedly. Complaining about his wife being insane and forcing me to take it's a shower. It's a waste of energy to run for nothing. Ever since it was discovered that old Liu had a crush on Lia Guoxiang, Interesting. the little Hu widow became next door. increasingly displeased with Lia Guoxiang. He came to sneer. Signaled Lia Guoxiang not to pester Lao Liu in the future. Guoxiang temporarily swallowed this breath. He decided to settle accounts with Hu Fenglun slowly in the future. After dinner, Guoxiang complained pitifully to Lao Liu. Lao Liu took a look, the teary little pitiful look of my sweetheart. He immediately understood. It must be Hu Fenglun who wronged Guoxiang. Did he make things difficult for you? The tender old Liu promises to Guoxiang. I will be there in the future. I will never let you be wronged like this again. The two lovers hugged each other tightly. When I got home, Lao Liu quarreled with Hu Fenglun. 
he angrily restricted Hu Fenglin's high consumption. You are not allowed to charge from your own account in the future. What did you do before? Why do you spend my money calling? Why didn't I keep my duty? But you knock on the door next door every day. Hang out with that little widow all day. You play your part. Two people had a big fight. Old Liu knew he was wrong, and he didn't want to argue with him. He turned back to the house. I'm going to bed. Hu Finklan was depressed. So I ran to find Mo Zhirong. Mo Zhirong told him not to fight Lao Liu. It's sure to be no good. In case you are provoked by Lao Liu, you will be divorced you get in nothing. a hurry. Now I can only follow the old Liu. Keep your position first. In order to have the glory and wealth of the rest of my life. When Hu Fenglun heard it, it was true. He came home. At this time, I found that the handsome old Liu had fallen asleep. He woke the old cutie from sleep. What are you doing? Do you still want to be a concubine? As soon as old Liu heard Hu Fenglun's topic, immediately refreshed. It's exciting to hear about concubinage. What kind of concubine does a heartless thing have? I agree useless. Liao Guoxing next door must agree. Hu Finglan took the opportunity to support Lao Liu. In pursuing Liao Old Guoxiang, Liu was overjoyed when he heard that. Even if I take a few more concubines. You are also Mrs. Liu. The position of Bas can never wait. Old Liu is happy, decided to reward the wife with a high-speed ride. I haven't changed my clothes yet. Just I haven't taken washed off them and yet. it's over. The next day Hu Finglun dressed up carefully. Take a catwalk in front of Lao Liu. Old Liu was taken aback for a while. Then he announced an exciting decision. He wants to give Lao Liu a private space. Let him give it a go to chase Liao Guoxiang tonight. Finally, no pressure from wife. This evening, the Waxiang lit a romantic candle. Put on a beautiful makeup in front of the mirror. Waiting for Lao Liu's arrival. Lao Liu knocked on the door of Guoxiang's house with flowers in he his hand. He finally waited for this exhilarating moment. Guoxiang newcomer accepted the flowers from Lao Liu. Beautiful candle like dinner for two. Guoxiang, under the illumination of red wine and light, looks more charming than ever. After dinner, the moment Lao Liu was looking forward to finally came. Landlord Lao Liu at this moment. I'm finally about to embrace the beauty. I really like you. We'll make you happy in the future. Just when Lao Liu's dream was about to come true. Unexpectedly, an accident happened. Didn't you say the child was asleep? Early the next morning. Lao Yu went to buy a small gift for Liao Guoxiang. As soon as he came up, he stuffed the gift into Guoxiang's hand. I thought it was a little gift. Unexpectedly, the nanny opened the box and took a look. Discover, inside turned out to be a valuable gemstone necklace. Liao Guoxiang secretly delighted unconsciously. He asked the nanny to help him put the necklace on. He even went to show off in front of Hu Feng Lang. A widow. Where can I buy such expensive jewellery? It must have been given to him by Lao Liu. Hu Fenglun looked at Liao Guoxiang's proud look, immediately out of breath. Hu Fenglun gets angrier. Liao Guoxiang is more proud. Hu Fenglun finds Lao Liu. I have to ask Lao Liu to buy himself a give Liao Guoxiang the same necklace. Lao Liu refused. Did he buy you less necklaces? Besides, what kind of presents do husbands and wives give? Hu Finglan came to complain to Mo Zhirong, although he agreed with Lao Liu to pursue the little widow. But my heart is full of reluctance. All that little widow. I really want to take a knife and chop him up. Mrs. Chen has always suspected that her husband has a new love outside. He came to talk to Liao Guoxiang. Guoxiang secretly revealed lawyer Chen's secret to him as Chen, I heard when I was with them late. Black Peony is with your husband. Watching the fun is not a big deal. After Mrs. Chen Liao Guoxiang showed the smiles of the people who eat melons.
Black Peony and White Rose are off work in the ballroom this day. When ready to go home, Black Peony was called by Mrs. Chen. Relatives and friends on Be the done. ground. White Rose helped him back to the apartment. Relying on Kian Kian's slender waist. The Black waist. Peony, who wandered around the rivers and lakes, I was can't beaten get on to the, the high ground. speed for now. Mrs. Chen at the other end of the corridor watched I this scene. I finally let go of my anger. Sumu Bai held another bouquet of flowers. Come and visit the goddess in my heart, Gawaxi. Unexpectedly, after knocking on the door for a long time, this there was no was one caught at home. by Hu Finglan who was about to go downstairs. Watching Sumu spend a lot of money to buy a bunch of gifts, Hu Finglan cut off these things. Like this. Give me something, I'll pack it and you give it to him. Hey warm warm. Give him a piece. Hey thank you. In the evening Hu Fenglun told Lao Liu. Liao Guoxiong accepted a bunch of gifts from Sim Yu Bai. Angry old Liu blows his beard and stares. He ran to find Liao Guoxiang. Blame Guoxiang for accepting Sim Yu Ba's things. If I reject him and the millennium away. I was simply told that I don't know good from bad. It's too late I'm going to sleep. I treat Liao Boxian very angry at Lao Liu's attitude. He turned around and entered the room, refusing to pay attention Old Liu's to Lao Liu's aching again. My girlfriend is mad at me. How can this be good? The nanny reminded Guoxiang that the expenses at home were a bit Going high. to the mall and eating out, the child learns the piano. Food, drink and daily necessities at home. Big monthly expenses. No source of income at home. Sooner or later we will sit and eat. Liao Guoxiang thinks it makes sense. He needs to plan well. Lawyer Chen has been neglected for several days. Guoxiang is dating Lawyer Chen again. He is going to exchange his remaining gold bars for the money. Deposit it all in the bank. Eat some interest. Lawyer Chen recommended that he deposit the money in Citibank. I have a friend who is in charge there. Can help Guoxiang recommend some good financial products. The interest rate is much higher than ordinary banks. I give him my money. Will there be any risk? What do you think? Guoxiang was very moved when she heard he it. He listened to what lawyer Chen said. Didn't expect what happened next. Let Guoxiang lose everything. Women don't want to go to work. So she took out all her savings. Decided to deposit all the money in the bank for profit. Interest. Unexpectedly. What happened later cost him nothing. Liao Guoxiong invites Lawyer Chen to dinner, to be on the safe side. He deposited the money with Lawyer Chen inside the bank where my friend is, because Lawyer Chen has always liked Guoxiong to say thanks. Guoxiong gave Lawyer Chen a hug. Have to say, Guoxiong pushes the enemy forward the love and strategy we retreat. The enemy's retreat and our advance is superbly Landlord used. Landlord Lao Liu learned that Guoxiong is short of money, so he directly Proudly took out an envelope full of money. To Guoxiang. This money is enough for Guoxiang to spend for several months. He forced the money into Guoxiang's hands. I, Liu Hanmin, am not short of money. Second, spending money for you makes me feel at ease. I am very happy. Seeing that Lao Liu is so generous, Guoxiang is too embarrassed to refuse. Thank you for being so handsome. A good landlord who is considerate and charming. Spends a lot Are of you money. Envious? In order to avoid others seeing and causing gossip. Guoxiang quickly turned around and went back. I didn't expect this scene. Still by the black peony not far away. And white roses to see. This guy is really good. People call it a means. You learn. The wife tried every means to increase the rent to squeeze Liao Guoxiang. Good old Liu. To give money to Liao Guoxiang with his elbow turned outward. Hu Fenglin angrily dumped Lao Liu with a cold face, as a rich and handsome. Old Liu doesn't even have the freedom to spend money to pursue love. His heart is filled with the helplessness of having money. But nowhere Hu to Fenglin spend it. came to find Mo Zhirong again. Talk about your troubles while smoking a big cigarette. Mo Zhirong sees girlfriends so bitter. 
she decided to sacrifice, sacrifice yourself to take down Liao Guoxiang. As the saying goes, chasing other girls makes others have no girls to Wait chase. Wait until I catch Liao Guoxiang. Old Liu couldn't help crying and fainted on the toilet. Mo Zhirong is happy just thinking about it. Liu Guoxiang heard someone knocking on the door. He went over to check the door and saw that it was Mo Zhirong, a bitch. The old horse sneered a few times. Just stuff the flowers in your hand to Guoxiang. See Guoxiang covered in goosebumps. I want to ask you. You know I love you so much. Your nobility. Mo Zhirong is kicking the gas pedal when preparing to forcibly go to the high speed. Unexpectedly, there was a dry knock on the door outside. Guoxiang seems to have seen a savior. He hurried to open the door to have a look. My god turned out to be another suitor Sun Yubai. Liao Guoxiang is really speechless. He hurried. Signal to Mubai to put this inside. Underpowered sissy. Get out I mean. Tell the hotel to get out. Mo Zhirong saw that Simubai was so fierce, he hurriedly gave his flowers to Simubai. Be a favor. Because their common enemy is old Liu Ha. Ho Ho. Then Mo Zhirong left the scene with a playful smile. Simubai sees that Guoxiang is not in good condition. Just politely let Guoxiang take a good rest. Then he left Guoxiang's house. Knowing that Mo Zhirong had a bad start, Hu Finglan decided to drive a car at high speed to punish him. It's useless for Mo Zhirong to beg for mercy. Liao Guoxiong's nanny came back from outside. I saw Mo Zhirong enter the Liu family next door. They hurriedly leaned against the wall. I almost dropped my jaw when I listened carefully. The roar of the engine came from next door. Hu Finglan is so irresponsible. I didn't expect Mo Zhirong to be so disgusting to Liao Guoxiang. Then go downstairs and call Lao Liu's company. Let Lao Liu come back quickly. Hu Finglan finished the high speed run and looked downstairs. It was frightening to find out that Lao Liu came back from get off work early. Mo Zhirong fled in a hurry all his life. After eating Mo Zhirong, Hu Finglan suddenly realized Liao Guoxiang who witnessed all this. Hu Finglan was caught. Guoxiang can lead Hu Finglan by the nose in the future. Next Lao Liu is back. Why didn't it open? Oh, I'm a little tired from playing for the past few days. He turned I around and was about to leave. Hu Finglan hurriedly asked, Husband, When are you coming back? I. Possible at any time. Watching Lao Liu go downstairs and walk away. Hu Finglan, the little dude's beating heart slowly calmed down. Because Liao Guoxiang discovered his scandal. Hu Finglan brought some perfume and various small gifts. In order to please Liao Guoxiang, he also greeted the knight with a hippie smile. How could Liao Guoxiang spare Hu Finglan so easily? He took the opportunity to threaten. Hu Finglan was so frightened that she panicked. Once... Let Lao Liu know about the scandal between himself and Mo Zhirong. It's a matter of time before you get kicked out of the house. Liao Guoxiang brought the gifts from Hu Fenglan. Forward to Mrs. Chen. I would like to thank lawyer Chen for helping me manage my finances. Mrs. Chen turned pale when she heard that. It turns out that you were also deceived by him. What friend? He is a big liar. But it made our family miserable. Liao Guoxiang couldn't believe his ears. Mrs. Chen told him, Husband's friend who claims to be an executive at a bank is a liar. High interest rate is bait. Take away the hard-earned money of many relatives and friends. The money I and my husband have saved all their lives. They were all cheated. I'm depressed these days. Husband Chen Haohui also borrowed a lot of money from relatives and saved friends. Saved All for nothing. Where are others? He went to relatives and friends to borrow a circle of money. Now how can I have the face to come back and wait? Talking. Sudden, a group of investment relatives and friends knocked on the door asking Only for debts. Only then did Liao Guoxiang realize that he was really deceived. Debtors just left. 
a group of women upstairs come gossip about Mrs. Chen and Guo Xiongqian being cheated away. Who also took the opportunity to come over and say some sarcastic remarks. I don't know. Remarks. Her words increased Guo Xiang's hatred for her. But you said. You and the little ones move together, sound. Unknown person. Liao Guoxiang was very angry when he was cheated out of his money. Hearing these gossips, I'm even more angry. I was insulted as an unknown person. Guoxiang is completely blown away. If I can't make money, can I still make people? Even went downstairs and met Hu Finglan's nanny. Guoxiang was also looked down upon. Whoops scared me to death. Oh Miss Liao. You have to grow eyes when you walk, right? Get out of the way. Walking the lobby of the first floor of the apartment, he was beaten by three aunts and six wives who were very verbal taunts. You said he managed to get some pension, right? This was cheated. Ha ha, a vixen like this. Rent a house for repairs but keep your eyes open. How can you be humble to such a fox? Liao Guoxiang, unable to bear the pressure any longer, I broke down and cried. It's hard for him to accept being looked down upon by the whole apartment. At this moment he came, he came. The tender old Liu is here. Whenever Guoxiang is wronged, Lao Liu will show up in time. They said, I don't want to eat people. Don't worry, I'm here. I will buy you forever. Huoxiang's grievances in front of everyone. All found comfort here in Lao Liu. His purpose is to take old Liu away and make Hu Finglan mad. It happened that Hu Finglan saw this scene. Fire you bitch. Disobedient just want to seduce my husband. You want face shame you? Ah, uh, I was slapped heavily by Lao Liu. Hu Finglan realized the seriousness of the matter. Severity. Immediately afterwards, Lao Liu drove Hu Finglan out of the house, threw out some of his clothes and jewellery. Lao Liu threw out a handful of money and told Hu Finglan to leave immediately. A group of women upstairs all ate melons on the spot. Watch the fun. Hu Finglan sat on the ground in desperation and cried loudly. She and Lao Liu's child, Zhao Bao, were also terrified. Hu Finglan was furious. Came here to live with Mo Zhirong. Mo Zhirong refused to take him in. I have been with you. You have been with me. Oh, what's up? You hate me. The old Liu family has a big business. Mojirong is afraid that he will get into trouble because of this. So at this critical moment, draw a line with Hu Finglan. Only then did Hu Finglan realize that no one can be trusted. He ran home again to pester Lao Liu and say good things. For the sake of the child. Lao Liu didn't embarrass him too much. Hu Fenglin had no choice but to Agreed. give in that Lao Liu will marry Liao Guoxiang, seeing that Lao Liu is about to accept Guoxiang as his concubine. I didn't expect Liao Guoxiang's next words. Let Lao Liu collapse. Handsome old Liu. I'm finally getting my second wife. I think. Although I can't be married by the media and let you be the Dharma. But this wedding I must have done very respectably. In order for Lao Liu to explain clearly Mrs. Hu Finglan also came to help and say good things together. I didn't expect the next sentence from the other party. Let Lao Liu be dumbfounded. I once said, Liao Roxy broke up for three years. No one sees. When Lao Liu saw that something was wrong, he hurried over to persuade Liao Guoxiang, got up and left without looking back. Back home Hu Finglan was very angry. He knows. Liao Guoxiang wants to take his place as the eldest wife. I don't want to be just a second wife. I just finished saying that I will keep my filial piety for my late husband for Old three Liu years. in front of his wife. Straight boasting that Guoxiang attaches great Let importance Hu to love. study hard and righteousness. If it's you, I will someday. It's two legs that kicked up to the west sky. Maybe the soil on the grave is not dry yet. You were married happily. Hu Fenglan is angry. Lao Liu was fascinated by the ghost of the little widow. Liao, Liao Guoxiang is not as innocent as old Liu thought. There is already a bigger piano brewing in his heart. 
My mother and teacher said I'm very talented in playing the piano. Seven-year-old daughter learns piano well. The school recommends buying a good piano, then send it to the piano master to study. But the investment just failed. Liao Guoxiang, who has almost nothing, where is the money to buy a piano and pay the exorbitant tuition? But it's easy for him. Please see what he does next. This day, Liao Guoxiang came out of the shower on the first floor. I happened to meet Lao Liu, who was about to go out. Old Liu talked to Guoxiang, but he avoided answering. Turn around and go upstairs. Look at usual. Lia Guoxiang who is always ambiguous with herself. It's suddenly unreasonable. Old monk Liu Zhonga is puzzled. I don't know why Guoxiang is always hot and cold. Old Liu who is as tender as water. Hurry up to Guoxiang's house and say good things. He put everything in his mind. I have said all the earthy love stories, but when I put my hand on Guoxiang's shoulder, or was Guoxiang to break free? Lao Liu has already prepared. He took out a beautiful box from his body. Open it up and see another expensive gemstone necklace. This is small. Hoot has been unable to satisfy Guoxiang's appetite. Lao Liu found that the little baby was still indifferent. Suddenly Guoxiang's nanny came back. Turn out to be the jewellery that was pawned was for the piano. Unexpectedly, there is only one piano left in this batch of pianos. The boss said someone already ordered. He sang with Liao Guoxiang in front of Lao Liu. Reveals that the child needs high tuition fees and buying a piano. Liao Guoxiang also reprimand the nanny for talking too much. Why are you talking about our troubles in front of Homi? Woolen cloth. Lao Liu Yiting Guoxiang supports his child in learning piano. Pawned all the jewellery in the house. He promised on the spot that all these things would be covered by himself after sending Lao Liu away. Liao Guoxiang showed a triumphant smile. Won the next day. The brand new limited edition piano was moved to Liao Guoxiang. Liao Guoxiang at home is as happy as a child. Lao Liu bluntly said that in order to buy this piano, as double soon the as price. possible. Seeing the little baby finally showing a happy smile. Lao Liu thinks it's worth the money. He came up in a hurry and wanted to hug and hold high, but was rejected again by Guoxiang. Pay so much but get nothing. Lao Liu is also very helpless about this. Hu Finland came to reprimand old Liu. So much money for that little widow. However, what Lao Liu said made him speechless. I earned the money. I can spend whatever I want. Liao Guoxiang approached Mrs. Chen to inquire about Lawyer Was told, Chen's whereabouts. Attorney Chen hasn't been back for several months. Mrs. Chen has taken the jewellery with All the valuables and sold. Repaid most of the foreign debt. Almost penniless now. Mo Zhirong sneaked into Li's house again. He wants to conspire with Hu Fenglin for a big event. Man sneaking into woman's room. Next they're plotting something big. Sissy Mo Zhirong enters the door and sits down. He took out a small vase from the back. Hu Fenglin turned around and left the place at home. Take an object from the shelf. A comparison. It turned out to be two identical antique vases. It turned out that Hu Fenglin was worried. Sooner or later, I will be abandoned by my husband. So, he wants to transfer the valuables at home as soon as possible. For fear of being discovered by her husband, he smashed the fake vase on purpose. Then he bought the family's nanny, a fang, to take the blame. Lao Liu learned that the antique vase was broken. Angry, it's an antique. You know how much gold bars I paid for it. It's not worth selling you. Look at a fang who has been a nanny at home for many years. I've apologized now. Lao Yu had no choice but to forgive A Fang, no longer hold her accountable. I don't know the valuable things at home. Then he was dropped by his wife Hu Finglan one by one. Hu Finglan turned eastward and westward, putting conspicuous things in the drawer, packed piece by piece, got outside as money. But where is the impenetrable wall? He ran into Mrs. Chen next door as soon as he went out. Antique vase dropped to the ground. 
Where God? This is President Hu Ao. Government veteran Liu heard the sound and he came. opened the box. That's how I know his wife Hu Fenglin has been sneaking around lately. Turns out he's been stealing valuables from the house. Hu Fenglin was arrested to avoid the loss of antiques at home. Lao Liu brought the valuable calligraphy, paintings, and antiques. They were at all home. taken to the home of the little widow next door, Liu Guoxiang. I'm afraid I can't keep it well. In case you and him. I trust you more? Seeing Lao Liu trusting himself so much, Liu Guoxiang asked him to have a few drinks at home. Lao Liu once again took out a beautiful gift. Guoxiang pretended to refuse, but was forced into her hands. Open the box. This time it's a 100 a carat diamond necklace. Facts have proved that as long as you have money, you can be romantic enough. Liu Guoxiang declined. Let Lao Liu give the necklace to his wife Hu Fenglin. Still pretending to be Hu Xilao. Help mediate the relationship between Lao Liu and his wife Hu Fenglin. Sister Feng's temperament is a bit impatient. But it's also because he cares too much about you. When Lao Liu heard this, he couldn't help sighing, I think. You are pure like a blank sheet of paper. It's so cute, but how did Lao Liu know? Liao Guoxiang who was as simple as a blank sheet of paper in front of in him. In fact, it was a scheming scheme to turn him around. Female, at this time, Liu Guoxiang asked Lao Liu to help him find a job because he doesn't want to be gossiped by outsiders, said he was a softie. Lao Liu saw the little boy in front of him, little baby, cute, so self-motivated, with Hu Fenglin and the group upstairs. Women who have nothing to do every day are different. She fell in love with Yu Boxiang more and more. She is holding Bo Xiong in her arms, when ready to kiss. Damn bother again. Who is this? Ah. Oh. It turned out that the nanny of Fang came to knock on the door. Our young master is sick. What did you say? After Lao Liu's diagnosis, he found that the child Must had have a caught high a cold fever. during the day. Liu Guoxiang also looked anxious. He comforted Lao Liu not to worry. Baby will be better soon. Lao Liu discovered at this moment, Guoxiang is so kind and considerate. And his wife Hu Fenglun. At this moment, I don't know where I'm fooling around. Lao Liu felt, Guoxiang is the best woman in the world. None of them. No, you have to divorce him. I want to marry me. I really love you. I want to spend my whole life with you. I don't think of anyone. I will divorce him immediately. Marry you as the only missus. Liu. Liu Guoxiang heard Lao Liu's promise, touched to snuggle in Lao Liu's arms. After dawn, the child's fever has subsided. And at this time, only then did Hu Fenglun shyly open the door and come back. The angry old Liu yelled at you, you still know how to come back. Lao Liu blames Hu Fenglun for being a mother. But do not take care of the children. Go out and fool around every day. Listen to me. I don't want to see you for a day now. I think you are dirty. Liu Haiming, you say I'm coquettish. Look at your phone I fuck. Lao Liu decided to divorce Hu Fenglun in the near future. After everything is settled, marry Guoxiang and come in. He asked Guoxiang to come out today. And there is another important matter. Just found matter. one for Guoxiang. Decent and leisurely job. The foreigner in front of me is the leader of the British consulate. Guoxiang's English is good. Later, I will go to the consulate to do some translation work. I didn't expect this job. It doesn't matter if Ming I don't Hai find Wong it. Liang. little hand and British paw just hold it lightly. Immediately collided with sparks of love. Old Liu thought Guoxiang was a dutiful woman. Didn't expect next. He actually dug a hole and let himself fall in. A woman flirts with her boss on her first day at work. Looking at the handsome foreign leaders. Liao Guoxiang couldn't help being elated. He has some good looks. Just discharged towards foreigners. The foreigner was immediately attracted. He loves the elegant, 
dignified and warm Liao Guoxiang. Love at first sight. With the help of colleagues, Liao Guoxiang gradually integrated into the work of the consulate. The leader Paul took extra care of him. Come in. Paul, call Guoxiang into the office from time to time. Exchange work. When he was on his way home from get off work that day, suddenly a black car drove by. Stop in front of him. A man got out of the car. This person is trying to avoid debt. Lawyer Chen who disappeared for nearly a year. Liao Guoxiang saw Chen Haohui's sudden appearance. Surprised. Come to the cafe. Lawyer Chen treats Guoxiang. I'm sorry for the failure of the investment. Liao Guoxiang. But weeping. Expressing my thoughts on Lawyer Chen during this time. Can't you find a way to give me peace? Do you know how worried I am? Although those are all my property. But I don't want a penny. Because the most important. It's you. Liao Guoxiang knows very well. Attorney Chen is a very face-saving person. Disappear when you fail. Since the comeback must have been triumphant. Sure enough, lawyer Chen told him. I started a company with my friends is now the company's largest shareholder. Liao Guoxiang stretched out his hand and grabbed lawyer Chen. None of this matters. After you come back, on the surface, it seems to be carelessness. In fact, a bigger game of chess is brewing in Liao Guoxiang's heart. While working at the British consulate, Liao Guoxiang often makes tea and serves it to the leader Paul. Of course, Paul is also happy to see Guoxiang. After all, such a beautiful woman, dangling in front of, really eye-catching. Paul boasted that the tea made by Guoxiang was delicious. He also wants to become these tea leaves. Just when Guoxiang was about to turn around and go to work, Paul proposed to send Guoxiang home after get off work. Guoxiang readily accepted without hesitation. Because of his purpose, it is to make all men want to stop themselves. Evening Paul driveway. Directly sent Guoxiang to the downstairs of the apartment. His relationship with this foreign leader is heating up. After going upstairs, Lao Liu happened to see Liao Guoxiang. Country incense. You came back so late. How dangerous. Master Li will send me back tonight. I want to pick you up. You won't let me. But let him send you. I don't want to either. He is my boss and my elder. How could I have the nerve to refuse such a kind offer? Tomorrow weekend, Lao Yu asked Guoxiang to eat Western food, but Guoxiang excused that she was busy with work these days. Have to work overtime. So I rejected Lao Yu. Lao Yu asked Guoxiang to quit her job. Can't you not go to work? I raise you. Liao Guoxiang took the opportunity to change the subject and wait for me to pay Please myself. Please go to the movies with Doba, okay? In Lao Liu's eyes, Liao Guoxiang was pure single. as a piece of white paper. How could he have thought that he was in Guoxiang's eyes? Is a person except rich, bad old man with nothing. What Liao Guoxiang said about working overtime. In fact, he came here to date lawyer Chen. They played badminton in the park all day. Lawyer Chen, who was full of motivation, also complained that he was exhausted. I really don't know where Liao Guoxiang got such a great charm. He just arrived at the company and received another bouquet of flowers. It turned out that the leader Paul entrusted someone to forward he it to him. He never rejects the ambiguity of all men. Sometimes close, sometimes distant. Hanging their appetite if men can keep freshness. Same park, same place. He asked Paul out to play badminton together. Unexpectedly. Lawyer Chen suddenly ran over at this time. Liao Guojian maintains an ambiguous relationship with the leader. How should he handle this situation? Hey, hello. Guoxiang's face turned red, pulling Paul over without a beat. Introduced to Lawyer Chen. He is my friend Chen Haohui. Attorney Chen. This is my boss Paul Li Yushin. Hello, glad to please you. Hello, do you two want to have a fight? Watching Liao Guoxiang and Paul playing badminton happily. Chen Haohui's jealousy. 
Lawyer Chen is on the way to send Guoxiang back. He blames. The relationship between Guoxiang and that foreign devil is too ambiguous. Regret. I hope you will respect my boss. My friend. It's hard for us to be together. Why don't you know how to cherish? Didn't expect Guoxiang to tell him. I have sworn to be the first filial piety for my husband for three Won't years. Won't accept anyone. You and Paul are just good friends to me. Lawyer Chen unilaterally believes that I am already in a relationship with Guoxiang. Now I know that Guoxiang only regards herself as a friend. His heart is very lost. Song Guoxiang back. After that he went straight to the ballroom. If you find it, you will be in love with Black Meet Peony. on the highway together. Did not expect. Afterwards, Mrs. Chen Wu you may caught him. The next day Wu you may caught sabotage in the apartment. My family's Black Peony. He accused and insulted Black Peony. Because this kind of thing is difficult to solve with the mouth, the two immediately launched a physical contest. This competition proves the importance of regular exercise. Black Peony only used seven success power. He pushed Wu Yu Mei to the ground. Black Peony stepped forward and kicked twice. That's why I was persuaded by White Rose. Wu Yu Mei wants to cry but has no She tears. doesn't know how to win back her husband's heart. Attorney Chen thinks, it's time to make a break with my wife Wu Yu Mei. She came home and pulled out a divorce settlement, a real estate certificate and a huge banknote. In order to thank my wife for taking care of me for more than 10 he years. He bought a house for his wife. Money in passbook. Enough for Wu Mei's daily expenses for the rest of her life. The divorce agreement stipulates a one-year relaxation period. Automatic for both divorce parties. after one year. Wu Mei was sobbing at this moment. She doesn't care about these material things. I just want to be a couple with Chen Hao Hui for a lifetime. Regret. Sorry, I beg you. Don't go. But Chen Hao Hui has already surrendered. He is taking off Wu Yu Mei's hands. I left without looking back. Paul is going on a business trip to Hongzhou for a while. He sent Guoxiang to the downstairs of the apartment again. Embrace Guoxiang affectionately and bid farewell reluctantly. Although Paul is not in Shanghai on a business trip, but Liao Guoxiang still often receive. Paul asked the delivery man to deliver flowers and gifts for my daughter. Chion Guoxiang is at work today. Lawyer Chen is holding flowers. Go to the consulate where Guoxiang works. Formal confession. Attorney Chen told Guoxiang, I have divorced Wu Yu Mei and bought a villa for Guoxiang. Hope in the future, Neng and Guoxiang become the masters of this villa. Live a happy life together. Unexpectedly, Liao Guoxiang lost the flowers, rejected his courtship on the spot. Chen Hui was stunned. He doesn't know what Liao Guoxiang wants. How can I pursue this woman? Lao Liu didn't know about all this, but he also decided to hurry up. What do you want? You promised me that you would marry me the next day after the divorce. Do you dare to promise what I need most now? Not silent, not for, but a sense of security. In order to give Liao Guoxiang the so-called sense of security, he Lao decided Liu. to make a break with Hu Fenglun next. The rich wife wakes up. I found the house was empty. Oh Feng. He called the nanny's name. However, the nanny who is always on call today is missing. Due to regular smoking, he is getting thinner. The body is getting worse day by day. What Hu Fenglun didn't know was, husband Lao Liu has abandoned him from now on. His son Dobao and the nanny at home has been arranged by the husband sent to my hometown in the countryside. Hu Fenglun doesn't know why. He even came to drink with his old friend Mo Zhirong. Bad luck. O Feng is gone too. You know that more than half of the things in the house are missing. Speaking of all the valuables at home are gone. Nanny and son also disappeared. The more Mo Zhirong listened, the more he felt that this was a bit strange, just when Hu Fenglun got home drunk. 
I found that my husband Lal Yu was listless at the moment. Sitting on the couch. Hu Finglan asked where the child and the nanny went. Lal Yu can only answer truthfully. Sent him to the country for their safety. Hu Finglan was confused. What Lal Yu said next made Hu Finglan collapse immediately. I went there. I lost all my money from the casino. Deposit. Antique paintings and calligraphy stored in a friend's house in stock. I sold the whole thing for a part. When Hu Finglan heard this, full of despair and anger, he scolded her husband. Why did you run away and lose all your property? Unexpectedly, Lao Liu was still determined and did not change his mind. Can you lend me a little bit of your private money? I'm going to the casino again. Definitely send it back. I will pay you back twice, okay? As the saying goes, husband and wife are birds of the In same the face forest. of disaster, fly separately. Now, Lao Liu has become a desperado with nothing. How could Hu Fenglun give him her own money? A penny can change. Lao Liu saw Hu Fenglun rising so much. He, I once again firmly believed in my choice to leave Hu Fenglun. That's right, so I left the house in a fit of anger. It turns out that what Lao Liu said just now was to lie to Hu Fenglun. He just wants to use this as an excuse to transfer all his possessions. Let Hu Fenglun not get a penny. Lao Liu came to a villa. He plans to buy this villa in the near future. To Liao Guoxiang, the two live a happy life together here. Look at the new luxury decoration. From now on, I will spend it to person world here with Guoxiang. Thinking about it, Lao Liu unconsciously laughed. Liao Guoxiang bought some small gifts for colleagues. Everyone praises Guoxiang people for their beauty and no kindness. Wonder. There are so many suitors every day, talking. Suddenly a colleague said, Someone was looking for. There's someone outside waiting for. Okay, thank you. I came out and saw that it was old Liu, said to give him a surprise. Lao Liu brought Guoxiang to his pharmaceutical company. He opens a safe. It contained a large amount of silver notes and gold bars. Lao Liu told Guoxiang that in addition to the dozen or so this medicines is most under of my his property name. outside the shop. We'll buy a villa soon. This money is enough for us and our children to spend a lifetime. If you don't want to live in Shanghai. We can be in any city in Europe. Buy a house. I don't want to leave Shanghai. I like Hansheng apartment. I met you in Hansheng. There are so many warm memories. So many things to remember. I cannot let it go. These words move Lao Liu very much. He thinks that Liao Guoxiang has no desires. She is simply a strange woman in the world. Lao Liu wants to transfer all his property to Guoxiang. Express your sincerity with sincere actions. All my property including my life. From today. Guoxiang was finally moved by Lao Liu. He gave another deep hug. Old Liu thinks he has impressed Liao Guoxiang. Unexpectedly, the other party has a ghost in his heart. Hu Finglan came to tell Ma Zhirong. Lao Liu has already lost all his family property. Now it has become nothing. Mo Zhirong's ballroom often has various business circles. People coming in and out. But I have never heard of Liu Hanman gambling all his family property. They decided to investigate the matter. This day, Hu Fenglun suddenly took all her private money. He said that he had been with Lao Liu and his wife for more than Sometimes 10 years. Sometimes it's just angry words. This money is usually saved. As long as we husband and wife work together to save food Sooner and money. Sooner or later, we can make a comeback. Even if you become a beggar with no money. I've followed you all my life. Lao Liu was deeply puzzled by his wife's sudden change. Husband and wife hug each other affectionately. Hu Finglan thought Lao Liu was really moved. Unexpectedly, Lao Liu learned about it through inquiries from wife various and parties. and Mo Zhirong have investigated their property. Condition is normal. Now that the lie has been discovered, he decides as soon as possible. All property rights, 
to the pure unkind sweetheart. Under the name of Liu Guoxiang, the wife will not get a dime. I have paid so much for Guoxiang. Can Lao Liu get Guoxiang as he wishes? If you can't love it, sooner or later you will have something Lao wrong. Lao Liu is ready to unbutton. Take Guoxiang on the highway. It's not good to spend a lot of money to get your sweetheart. Seeing this moment is about to make a dream come true. Unexpectedly, the buttons on the neck are very annoying. Lao Yu went straight to the point and put his mouth together. But... Who? Really impermanent ginseng. Small intestine wrapped in large Open intestine. Open the door and see that there are several intersections. The car you parked downstairs was smashed. My car was smashed. How can it be? You go down and have a look. Sorry we didn't find the driver. Or please come down with us to have a look. It's a critical moment to drop the chain. This high speed is impossible. Old Liu Yi reluctantly bid farewell to Liao Guoxiang. Follow the traffic police downstairs to deal with the car. It turns out that the car was deliberately built by his wife who at this time for fear of Finland being smashed. was already addicted to cigarettes, getting thinner and weaker. It is no longer as beautiful as it used to be. Heard someone knocking on the door. He dragged his body tremblingly and ran to open the door. The person outside the door was actually Liao Guoxiang whom he hated Seeing the most. Seeing that Hu Finglan is now a human being. Ghost or not. Bare feet without shoes. Liao Guoxiang smiled slightly. Laugh at the enemy for being so vulnerable. Hu Finglan begged Liao Guoxiang to let Lao Yu go. Now this home is falling apart. Liao Guoxiang revealed that there are many people who pursue him. Lao Yu is just one of them. Each of them is very nice to me. But what I want to know is which one is the best. I'm still choosing. Liao Guoxiang, you bitch. You two are a pair of shameless bitches. No. Old Liu heard the sound and came to find Beloved out. Beloved Guoxiang was bullied by Hu Fenglin again, so he hurriedly escorted Guoxiang away with distress. You were lied to Liu Hanman. Lao Liu has been dazzled by love. I can't listen to any persuasion. Hu Fenglin's spirit almost collapsed. And Liao Guoxiang is still crying here. Pretend to be wronged. Old Liu patiently comforted the little baby's emotions distressedly. In order to let the sweetheart no longer be wronged, Lao Liu decided that two days let Guoxiang move out from here. Because that villa has already been bought for Guoxiang. Hu Finglan found, with his own strength, he can't beat Liao Guoxiang. Will you may? Shake out the fact that Liao Guoxiang seduced Chen Haohui. Honesty, no desire, no worth. I thought Black Peony was the one who ruined my marriage. Never expected that the culprit was actually Guoxiang. Thanks to myself, I still treat him as a good friend. Chen Haohui asked Guoxiang to come out to express his heart again. Guoxiang is indifferent to him. Chen Haohui hugged Guoxiang into his arms. He promised himself to divorce his wife immediately. Disassociation. From now on, I will treat Guoxiang wholeheartedly. It so happened that Hu Fenglin brought Wu Yumei to follow her. Witnessed it all. Hu Yumei finally believed what Hu Fenglin said. Afterwards, Liao Guoxiang came to find Wu Yumei with two trays of snacks. He said that he approached Chen Haohui at the beginning. It's for him to help him with the lawsuit. To get back my ex-husband's pension. Afterwards, it was Chen Haohui who chased after him. Me and Chen Haohui until today. Nothing happened. To show my sincerity. Liao Guoxiang promised to move out immediately. Now that it's all said and done. Wu Yumei has nothing to say. Lao Yu brought Guoxiang to see the newly bought big villa. The upper and lower floors are fully equipped with furniture. Eight and rooms, home appliances. Five living rooms. You can sleep wherever Live in you peace want. of mind with a private butler in a unique compound. Liao Guoxiang is very satisfied with this place. The color of the whole room is mainly white. 
concise and clear. As white as your heart. I heard Lao Li's words. Liao Guoxiong almost couldn't hold back his laughter. From today. Our new life begins. Liao Guoxiang took the initiative to hug Lao Yu again. Old Yu who was dazzled by love. I don't know Guoxiang's true face. He will be doomed because of this woman. Tall, rich and handsome old Liu in order to capture the heart I of his girlfriend. I paid a lot of money to buy this mansion for my sweetheart. The name of the girlfriend is written on the real estate certificate. He led Guoxiang around for a while. Guoxiang is very satisfied with this place. Sure enough, if you have money, you can have love. When Guoxiang was happy, she not only took the initiative to throw and herself into her and arms. And sat down on the sofa. Smiling and motioning for Lao Liu to sit down and have a rest. Old Liu straddled the horse and walked over. He hugged Guoxiang. It's time for a high speed undisturbed. Lao Liu's dream finally came true. After getting off the highway, they decided to take both their daughter and nanny. Is the new home beautiful? The new home is of course beautiful. And a new piano. Uncle Liu personally made it for you. Mom is so nice. Hurry up and thank Aunt Liu. Thank you, Uncle Liao. Liao Guoxiang thought she was completely. Hu Finglan. Never imagined. Hu Finglan gave him a fatal blow at this moment. Hu Finglan served a bowl of porridge. Come to see the decadent Wu Yu Mei. Encourage him to cheer up and save his love. He also personally fed the porridge in the bowl to Wu Yu Mei. Then Hu Finglan came to the kitchen. Carefully brewed a pot of chicken soup. Black peonies and white roses smell the fragrance. Came to drink soup. But was rejected by Hu Finglan. To golden flowers. Seeing that Sister Feng is not even willing to let me drink chicken soup. So I soup. had to leave in displeasure. No one knows. What exactly does Hu Finglan want to do at this moment? He brought the boiled chicken soup to Wu Yu Mei. Pretending to be kind to help Wu Yu Mei save her love. Although Liao Guoxiang moved away. But he must still have contacts with Chen Hao Hui in private. This is Liao Guoxiong's favorite chicken soup. You send it over and have a good talk with Liao Guoxiong. You just beg him sincerely. Maybe he can really let your family Chen Hao off. Well, you didn't think this was really a good way. When Hu Fenglan left, he opened the lunchbox into chicken soup. The scent that comes out is really tempting. He couldn't resist picking up a spoon and taking a sip. Taste really good. Wu Yu Mei went to Liao Guoxiang in a rickshaw. New residence. Liao Guoxiang went to La to receive him. Mrs. Mrs. Chen sent you your favorite Motsutake chicken soup. Wu Yu Mei knelt down in front of him with tears in her eyes. Ask him later. Stop contacting her husband Chen Hao Hui. Get up and talk. I won't go if you don't agree. Look at Wu Yu Mei often kneeling down to Guoxiang. Had to agree to her request. Wu Yu Mei was moved to tears. She kotoed in place. Then turn around and leave. Not long after leaving Guoxiang's mansion. Wu Yu Mei felt a sharp pain in her abdomen. As he was walking, he collapsed to the ground and spat out a stream of blood. It turned out that what Hu Fenglan gave him was a bowl of poisonous chicken Fenglan soup. Hu put the poison into the soup while making the soup. The purpose is to poison. Liao Guoxiang has avenged his hatred. Unexpectedly, he was misled by Wu Yu Mei. Unfortunately, when he was dying, I don't know who killed me. His kindness has become a victim of evil. Okay, I have something to go out tonight. Don't eat with you. On the other side, Liao Guoxiang is going to go out on a date with Paul. Daughter Jia Jia and Nanny are at home. The two didn't know there was poison in the soup. Drank together. Nanny and child drinking chicken soup at home. Unexpectedly, the girl died on the spot not long after drinking. The nanny's abdominal pain is unbearable and she is dying. Haven't had time to pick up the phone on the table. Already dead. The girl's mother. Liao Guoxiong is dating this British man outside. While the two are talking. Guoxiang's heart suddenly ached. 
Maybe it's a mother-daughter bond. The death of her daughter made her feel. Guo Xiong thought she had a heart attack, so I didn't care too much. Did not expect. Soon he learned the sad news of his daughter's death. Lao Yu hugged Guo Xiang to enlighten and comfort. Let Guo Xiang be strong and cheer up. No one knows. The daughter and the nanny were poisoned to death by Hu Finglan. At this time, Hu Finglan was complacent and gloated. He ran to say something sarcastic. No scruples. Have not recovered from the shadow of bereavement. Lia Guoxiang who came out. This side is in Chen Heo who is law firm. Finished Wu Yu Mei's funeral. Chen Heo who he believes that all this is predestined by God. Guoxiang is the best partner in my life. He showed his utmost trust and sincerity. Ask the manager to transfer the Henjie group under his name. All business is handed over to Guoxiang to take care of. Chen Hao Hui told Guoxiang, I'm going on a business trip to France. When I come back, I will marry Guoxiang grandly. Didn't expect he just left. Liao Guoxiang found a professional. Helped himself sell off all the shares in the industry company. To the British consulate. Paul deeply sympathizes with Guoxiang for losing her daughter. He comforted Guoxiang to get out of the haze as soon as and possible. Invite Guoxiang to participate in the dance. Held Meeting by the business dance community like lovers at, at the ball. Just come by the same. Old Liu who attended the ball saw it. Old Liu was overturned. He has already transferred part of his property to Guoxiang's name. There is no way out now. He doesn't allow anyone intervene in my relationship with Guoxiang. On the way back with Guoxiang, Lao Yu persuaded Guoxiang to give up her job, cut off contact with Paul in the future. When I saw you with Paul, my heart, my heart is trembling. Guoxiang, I love you. Sumubai still likes Liao Guoxiang, but Lao Liu is his immediate boss, so he is willing to quit. Support Guoxiang and Lao Liu together. I also hope you can be my sister-in-law. So, I can see you often. In order to keep Hu Fenglun from getting any money, Lao Yu urged Sumu. Bai quickly followed all procedures to transfer property. Just be patient for a day. Now feel safe every day except for the limited amount. I'm afraid of being checked. The most important thing is for us to be faithful and responsible. Lao Yu returned to his previous residence, seeing Hu Finglan as a beach, slumped down on the sofa like mud. He called several times. Hu Finglan slowly opened her eyes. He is addicted to smoking. Just wake up and keep smoking. Seeing his wife was so weak that she couldn't even lift her arms. The kind old Liu handed the bun to Hu Finglan and set him on fire. Looking at Hu Finglan's current miserable state, Old Liu looked indifferent. He will soon pay for his crime. Woman collapsed on sofa dying. Then the eyes closed and passed out. Her husband is not only indifferent. Instead, he calmly got up and left the house, left his wife lying there miserable. The bong in his hand fell to the ground. The romantic and beautiful Hu Fenglin in the past, fragrant at this moment. Lia Guoxiang asked Lao Yu to transfer his son Doba from Take the over countryside. Line. Together, Guoxiang bluntly stated that his daughter died. From now on, Doba will be his own son. While talking, he kept picking up vegetables for Doba to eat. Lao Yu was very pleased to see this scene. At this time, Sumubai came to brother with the documents. Real estate seventh stock cash has been done. Now all have been transferred to Miz. Lao's name, Lao Yu excitedly told Guoxiang, from now on, you will be the head of the family. Everything is up to you. Their days seem to be in harmony. But the inside of Hansen's apartment is extremely bleak at the moment. The original partner, Hu Fenglan, has no vital signs at all. My friend Mo Zhirong came here secretly. He sat by and talked for a long time. But I found that Hu Fenglan didn't respond. Only then did Mo Zhirong realize something was wrong. He stretched out his hand to touch Hu Fenglin's arm, shocked. Not even a little temperature. He stretched out his hand to detect the other's breath. 
immediately scare him. Mo Jirong was so frightened that he scrambled and ran out. He can't imagine, cheer each other up. Good friends who drive together suddenly died. Paul invited Guoxiang to dinner. He said he was going back to England soon. Hoped to live in the UK with Guoxiang. So at this moment, Lia Guoxiang started the long planned action. White Rose came to tell old Liu Hu Fenglin the news of his death. Lao Yu pretended to be surprised. He hurriedly followed White Rose to the apartment. As soon as I got downstairs, I saw a group of policemen waiting for me, reported to the British consulate, said he had asked for a gun to defraud Paul of his property. Where is he? Lao Yu is at a loss. He hurried to the mansion in Zinma with the police. I found that Sumubai was looking here and there. He put all his stock cash. All real estate and land were swept away. We don't have any money now. No penny left. At this time, Lao Liu realized the innocent Liao Guoxiang in my own eyes. He's a covert liar. Lao Liu was furious when he heard the news. Almost fainted. Paul and Lao Liu were cheated at the same time. After returning from a business trip abroad, Chen Hao find out that your company is empty. The manager told him, Liao Guoxiang, your most trusted woman sold all the company's stock. Gone now. And the company's previous debts are still on your shoulders. Chen Hao who he did not expect. Liao Guoxiang, whom I love so much, is actually a What liar. you paid for with sincerity is deception. Old Liu staggered to Hansen's apartment. Into this he and his ex-wife Hu Finglan lived in the house for many years. Minutes later, there was a raging fire here. The tenants in the building fled out one after another. Lao Yu exhausted his last breath of strength. Ruined this place with my own hands. It's all because of lust. I fell in love with this woman named Liao Guoxiang. That's what caused the current situation of family ruin and death. Old Yu came out of the flames and fell to the ground. So he left with his ex-wife Hu Fenglang. On the surface, Shanghai Beach is still peaceful and peaceful. After many years, Liao Guoxiang, who fled abroad and was happy, back to the land of Shanghai again. He still looks stylish. Already had a son. Mother. I thought the evil deeds a few years ago had been forgotten. He can continue to live happily ever after. Unexpectedly, at this night when the moon is dark and the wind Liaga is high, Luxiang staggered after drinking. Walking in an alley, suddenly a man behind him took out a 100-meter machete, quietly approached him. This person looks exactly like Sun Bai. Clothes and figure look like Chen Haohui. He stepped forward quickly and raised the knife. Liao Guoxiang lived up to expectations. Dead. Who do you think the murder is? Welcome to express your views in the comment area.